That's it, baby. The Sugar Shell stays undefeated. Sure. Yeah, real cool. Not cool for James Krause, though. I can tell you that much. What do you mean, man? Uh, <laughs> What's wrong with James Krause? I actually hit him up before the fights last night and threw th 10,000 on him. He gave me 10, 100 pick, 100 percent picks. Yeah. Right. yeah. Uh, dad, dude, just for him, because I think he trains like six or seven people that are in the UFC, and now they said okay. if you train with James Krause, you cannot compete in the UFC. It sucks because I don't. You don't know. I don't think he was intentionally, like. Setting up fights. Hey, go out there, and lose. He'll go out there, and win. I think he was no. taking the knowledge he had from the specific fighters, <laughs> in betting on fights, and telling his fans, his people, "Hey, this is what I think." I don't think he. I'm trying to think if I would do that if I knew. And there was a bunch of people who trust me for betting on fights, and you're really hurt. Would I go in there and say, "Hey, my boy's hurt. Don't make this bet." <laughs> I don't Sugar's think I lose. would. It's definitely not. I mean, it, yeah, it definitely not. It wasn't a smart thing. Yeah, but was it, it an intentional like crime? So they subpoenaed, and I think subpoena means they took they, they take all of everything. Shit. They're gonna read every emails. email, every all. So some shit might come out. That maybe other fighters involved. Maybe other coaches involved. And who knows what that the the kid, the Derek Minner? I'm sure it's not, but who knows? He could have been like, my knees fucked up. I'm making twelve thousand dollars. I'm making twelve grand. There's a good chance I'm gonna get cut. I'm gonna. He could have betted him against himself even. He goes out there with his bad leg and throws yeah. a kick with his bad leg. The first strike. Yeah, that should be easy. Hollywood. That should be easy to find out, though. They took subpoena to everything. They have all that information. They should be able to find that out. And, like, so Hunter and them came out with the email and sent it to everyone to say pretty much no more betting, absolutely no more betting for coaches, for mm -hmm. what family members, for— I didn't read it, but I know I can't bet, and I think immediate family can't bet. I don't think coaches can bet. Yeah. But, dude, throwing a little $5 parlay. I know. It's too fun. I used to fun. love that shit. But now in Alberta and Ontario, they're, they banned it. I bet UFC's like, because UFC probably with DraftKings or whatever has multi million dollars. Oh, yeah. Like multi, multi million dollars. And people, just like you said, people probably watch the fights just because it's fun to bet on the people. Well, dude, Daniel watches fucking tennis because he has money on it, not because he likes it. Yeah. Like, there's people that watch, put money on fights and watch it just because there's money on it. Yeah, so how bad would that fuck the UFC if there's like, hey, no betting. We're not doing bets on fights anymore. Yeah, I think Hunter did the right thing. I mean, try to make a statement. Yeah, make a statement. You train, you just can't fucking do it anymore. So, there's that. That sucks. For James, though, it's like he finally gets his YouTube. It's starting to pop. He's his Instagram. He's got this. He said he made more money, hands down, easily betting on fight. That's crazy to me. How does he know? How does he pick fights that well? Well, it's. it's he said he went like I remember like I saw a clip of Ariel and him I don't know when it was but it was obviously a while back talking about that he was like yeah I make more money on betting on fights. Hmm. He said he went fifteen and two one card or some shit like I would that would just be way too stressful if it's like dude people look up to me for betting advice and they take my betting advice like, fuck that I would never want to do that. He said some members pay two thousand dollars a month for his advice. Holy but shit! But those are probably big betters like some serious cheddar betters that's what I call them. Yeah. Just made that up. Trade market. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you can I, use that, su <laughs> that sucks for him. But really, worst comes, it's like not the end of the world. James Cross is really good at jujitsu. He could have a jujitsu academy, be into it. But still, it sucks. You're, that's your passion. You put your life <sighs> into it, especially in the UFC. And now you're just fucking well, he might be banned. going to prison, right? That's I don't, like, I don't know. I think that's like some serious shit. He could be going to prison. <laughs> at least in those jits. <laughs> so, uh, how about your guys' idol, Kanye West? What's your guys' thoughts, JX and Dow? What's up, Sugar Squad? If you like this video, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and click down below to check out the full episode and subscribe to be a part of the journey.